What's up everybody, hey it's Charles and today we're going to be installing a short throw shifter on the R32. In the quest to make this car back to stock plus a little bit better, we are doing a ton of upgrades. One of the early upgrades is going to be the entire shifting system on the transmission as well as inside the car. Today I'm going to show you step by step on how to install a short shifter kit. The kit we're going to be using is from Diesel Geek and it replaces basically everything on top of the selector on the transmission. These are the parts that we're going to be replacing with the Diesel Geek kit. As you can see, this shift cable end is completely destroyed. This one looks okay, but we're gonna be replacing these bushings and everything with this kit. Of course, I'll put a link down in the description where you can check out a little bit more about the kit. We're gonna start by making some room in order for us to access the top of the transmission. You could probably get away with simply removing the air box, but so I can show you guys a little bit better and put some of this back the way it's supposed to be, I'm going to take all of these things off. Now that we have the battery and the air box completely out of the way, we have a ton of room to work. This is the piece that we're going to be working with. We're going to take the shifter cable ends off. We're gonna remove this piece as well as this bracket here. Let's start by releasing the cable ends. That's simply just squeezing them together and giving this piece a little turn. Now we can rotate the end off of the cable. Then what I like to do is just twist this back so that it sits kind of in its neutral position. We'll do the same thing for the other side, squeeze it together give it a twist, and you're gonna be twisting it that way towards the passenger side of the vehicle. Next, what we're gonna do is remove this nut right here. Now you won't be reusing this, but you wanna save it in case you need to put the stock stuff back on. Next, what we're gonna to need to do is we're gonna to need to remove this little clip right here. This little clip right here is simply a spring clip. Get our thumb behind it, open it up, push it down, or lift it up. That's our clip right there, set that in our tray. To give us a little bit more room, I'm gonna take this bracket loose for the power steering line. That'll just give us a little bit more room. Next, we slide our bracket out, work the bracket out. I'm also going to take this bushing out of here because we have a new one we're gonna install. Next, we're gonna pull this bracket loose. What you can do is you can put a socket underneath here, a 12 millimeter socket under here, use that as a brace, put the nut back on, and then just give it a gentle tap, and that'll help loosen up this bracket. Then once it's loose, just rock it back and forth, and we'll remove it. Before we start back with the new stuff, let's take a couple minutes and clean all this junk out of here and at least make it look a little bit nicer. We also wanna make sure we don't have any grime inside of this portion of the housing to mess up our bushings. Okay, now that we have this fairly well cleaned up, let's go ahead and put our short shifter kit on. This is going to be the front to back bracket, and we'll just slide that in just like that. Now you'll notice there's a line with a mark on it. That's actually because there's a key that it needs to line up with on the selector tower for the transmission. It's a double tooth, so we find the double tooth and we just kind of rock it down on there. Just nice and easy back and forth and it'll eventually go all the way down. And when we tighten this down, it'll push it down the rest of the way if needed. Next, what we're gonna do is we're gonna install this bracket. There are two bushings that go on. The key here is only install this one. If you install this one as well, you won't be able to get the other bracket in. Before we put this bracket on, let's set our bushing on and then we'll be able to get it installed. This has a top side, make sure you get the top side up. Push it all together. Then we have a clip, we have a new clip, just like the one we took out. Drop that clip on, make sure it clicks. Next, we'll put our cable end on. Make sure that your grooves face up. Pull this as far out as you can. Take our new Allen bolt, thread this on. Now, kind of like we did when we took the bracket off, a little trick is gonna be to pull up on this short shifter bracket, drop a socket so that it doesn't push all the way down. That'll allow us to tighten this bolt. Now with that socket under there, 
can tighten it down. Next, we'll put our new nut on the selector tower. Probably remember that that wasn't super tight. Go ahead and tighten that down. Then we don't want to forget to get our socket out. And let's go ahead, just so we also don't forget, let's go ahead and put this power steering bracket back on. Okay, our shifter bracket is all installed. Looking awesome. Man, that's so much nicer. As we look at the top of our transmission, we can see the transmission lock right there. We're going to need to lock that and the shifter inside the car in order to make our adjustments. The lock for the transmission can be a little bit tricky to see. It's a small black tab located right next to the plug for the reverse light. In order to lock the transmission to make our adjustment, we need to push down slightly on the shift tower about halfway and at the same time, push this tab in and rotate it upwards or clockwise. When the transmission side is fully locked, the tab will end up facing about 10 o'clock and be about a quarter of an inch away from the transmission. And of course, you shouldn't be able to move the shift tower. Now, be really careful because this lock is just a piece of plastic. Next, we're gonna come inside the car. Now, I already have everything removed from doing all the bushings. We're gonna take our pin, we're gonna drop it through the shifter, and then just move the shifter till it sits in its locked position. Okay, now that we have everything installed and everything locked, what we're gonna do is we are going to snug our cables down. We're gonna start with this one here. Now before it gets tight, what you wanna do is you wanna grab the cable and pull it as far forward as you can, and that'll help get the adjustment done a little bit easier. This one is a pretty sensitive adjustment. The other one's not too bad, but this one we wanna make sure we take the time and really get it right. You wanna start by tightening just two bolts. This will allow the cable to be tight enough, but make it a little easier if we need to make any adjustments. All right, we'll go ahead and do the same thing for the other cable. Now we need to release the shift lock on the transmission and pull the pin inside the car. When both the lock on the transmission and the pin are removed, run the shifter through all the gears. Make sure that your gear engagement feels good. The shift is gonna be very short, but it should be very positive and lock into each gear. This is a place where if something is wrong, you're gonna know right away because you won't be able to engage a gear. And this can be done without the car running. Okay, everything feels great with the shifter. Let's go ahead and snug up the rest of the bolts. If you need to make any adjustments, relock the transmission, put your pin back in, and make any adjustments that are needed. Once all of your bolts are secure, it's time to put everything back together and take it for a drive. After getting it all installed and taking the car on a test drive, I'm really happy with the way the shifter performs. The shift is considerably shorter than it was from the factory. It is also a very positive shift, meaning that it does take a little bit more effort than it would have when the car was even brand new. This is something you wanna be aware of. I will tell you though, it is not a concern for me at all. I like the way it shifts. But if you are really sensitive to that, it is going to take a little bit more work. I just wanna make sure you guys understand that before installing this kit. But to me, this is an improvement on the vehicle in every way. In fact, after doing this, as well as the shifter bushings on the tower in the car, it is a 100% different driving vehicle, and I could not be happier. All right, before I wrap it up, one final thing. These old parts you really do wanna save. Throw them in a Ziploc bag, label it, whatever you gotta do to make sure you don't lose any of these because they can be expensive to replace if you have to replace them. So with that, I'm gonna wrap it up. Questions or comments, you know what to do. If you like the video, hit that thumbs up button. Don't forget to subscribe and ding the notification bell right here on YouTube or over on the blog at humblemechanic.com. If you wanna check out more R32 videos, there is a specific playlist on R32 videos. You can see all the stuff we've done up to this point and going forward. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Mad ups to Diesel Geek for hooking me up with this kit. Fantastic, the GTI right behind me will also be getting one when the time comes for that as well. Guys, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time.